Download free design files from ambitious.co.za slash laser art. Just click on the link in the details below and enjoy. Welcome back to another laser art video. Today we're going to be showing you on how to laser engrave and cut on acrylic. And once we're finished doing that, we're also going to inlay it with some paint, clean that off nicely, and after that we're going to apply some sandblasting to it. So go download your vector and let's get to it. So keep in mind that everything that I've got here is wedding vows. So if you don't want to use this as an example, you can delete it and just use your text tool on either program to type in your own artwork or lettering, however you choose, it can be a picture or writing. First thing we're going to need to do is delete one of the outer borders. Those we do not need, we are only going to be engraving the lettering, so we just need the outsides to be gone. Once we've done that, we need to now establish what, what we're going to be doing to which item. So let's first select our cut line and then let's move on to engraving. So I'm going to be selecting these here. At the top of these wedding vows, there's going to be two little holes that have ribbon so that it looks quite nice when they're holding it at their um, wedding. So we're going to select those two holes and the outer border. We're going to change that color. I'm just going to choose purple and we're going to leave that to cut. The insides we're going to engrave where the black is, so we leave that as is. And as you can see here, I've gone with the cursive font. You can use any font of your choosing. Now we're going to select our settings. So let's go to our cut. And yes, we've already got a label as cut. So let's quickly look at our settings here. For our speed, I'm going to leave it at 20 speed. And our power, we can go down all the way to 55 it's already 55 so we'll leave it as it is also this depends on what thickness of acrylic you'll be using um, I'm going to be using something a little bit thicker than 6 mil I've got a 100 watt power supply and I'm going to be cutting around about 6 mil maybe 4 mil for you if you're going to be doing uh, 3 mil I would recommend a power setting of between 45 and 50 percent so I'm going to leave it at 55 and again, if you haven't cut all the way through, you can always just push cut again. So we leave that at that. And now we need to change our engraving to engrave on the color, which is our black. And let's have a look at those settings. I always leave my settings at pretty much the same. 500 speed, make sure your bar direction and engrave blows on. And my power for this, because I'm going to be putting some paint inside, I would like it to be a little bit deeper. So we're going to go up. 10% power and go to 45% power. Leave your scan gap at that because we want a really nice engraving. If you've got too big of a gap between your engraving lines, the ink will not stay in or paint depending on what you're going to use. So let's make sure it's crisp. And we're going to push OK there because those are the settings that we want. Now that that's done, let's head over to our laser and begin cutting. I've got a piece of cast acrylic. This is going to be four millimeters thick. So we just need to set up our heart of our laser head and then we're gonna go over to the computer and push start. So let's quickly do it. Guys, because I'm gonna be using a four millimeter thick cast acrylic, you need to have your settings a little bit stronger than what I said previously. I'm gonna be going with 20% speed and 70% power simply because I'm going with a thicker piece of acrylic. If you're doing 3 mil, you can leave your power settings as they were at 20% speed and 55% power, no problem. So let's quickly save this to the laser and start.
okay guys it's cut and it's been engraved it's finished and we've got everything here that i need for the rest of this project i've got some sandblasting that i had left over from a job i've got some paper towel to clean off our paint got our gloves which we're going to need a craft knife a bottle of water with some sunlight soap in a cloth to clean us off we've got our paint and some masking tape just to mask off the areas if we need to but before we continue and clean this up i just need to explain to you that when you're doing engraving on acrylic and cutting you need to leave your backing and your protection layers on both sides and the reason for this is when the laser is going through the acrylic because it's see-through and there's no dark substance for it not to happen is that once it's going to cut through it hits the honeycomb bed and it also reflects straight off of it instead of going past it and once it reflects if there's no protection layer on your acrylic it hits the sides and leaves little crack marks everywhere and it's clearly visible so the best thing is to leave the protection layers that come with this on while you're busy working on the laser but obviously now we're finished so we can peel them off give it a good clean and continue so let's get to it and peeling off the protection layer is pretty easy you just grab a corner and you slowly go and you peel it off so let's give it a good clean and make sure we get out any leftover pieces of plastic and we don't want to be aggressive because you will scratch this pretty easily so get yourself a cloth that is not too rough but also it's not too smooth give it a good spray because we want to make sure that we clean these really well all right so now that we've cleaned the front and made sure that it's dry we're going to do our spray paint next obviously it's up to you where you want to do this but just always keep in mind that paint will go anywhere with an aerosol tin so i'm just going to lay out some paper to make sure that I don't paint my table a different color. So now, if you decided to do anything specific, like an image of any kind, because it's up to you what you're engraving, if you are doing different colors, which you're more than welcome to, spray paint is fun to use and you can use it anywhere on acrylic. Keep in mind that if you want to mask off certain areas, you must do so correctly and wait for it to dry before peeling off the masking tape otherwise you will let the masking tape run throughout the rest of your image but luckily today we're only using one color which is easy for me so all i gotta do is just let down a nice little coat we're gonna leave it for a few seconds then wipe it off and the ink should be nicely set inside so let's quickly do so okay i think it's sat for a little bit too long but otherwise i think it'll be fine we just wipe off as much as we can with our carton towel and then afterwards we're going to get a wet cloth and go over it again until there's no more paint on the front and there we go it's coming off quite nicely and like i said you don't want to get any of the the liquid or chemical that you're using to clean off your paint you would rather spray the cloth or the carton towel to clean it because you don't want that ink to disappear on the inside cool now that we've cleaned these off we're going to let the front dry for a little bit longer and we're going to move on to the back and put on our sandblasted vinyl to give it a nice contrast remember that we left our protective layer on and you now are wanting to remove it so that we have a nice clean surface to work with Now that we've done that, just flip it over and the easiest way to cut it is make sure you're cutting it from the opposite side. And you cut against the acrylic and it makes it a lot easier to get that straight line and the corners. And there we have it, a completed wedding vow acrylic 
which was really nice and easy to do. This one I think is not a difficult project to get hold of and if you've got some time adding some colors is a really nice thing especially if you do your own artwork. Well guys if you thoroughly liked this video give us a thumbs up, a comment maybe and we'll see you in the next one. At am.co.za, we have always taken pride in our products and customer service. Our Google rating represents our commitment to providing our clients with the best support possible. We have officially achieved a rating of 4.9 stars and an astounding 699 reviews for our Jet Park branch in Johannesburg at the end of 2020. Let's move our attention to our branch in Montague Gardens of Cape Town where we have achieved a rating of 4.8 stars and an amazing 299 reviews. We would like to thank you, our loyal customers. Thank you, South Africa. am.co.za. Achievement matters.